have a look at the board please what is this <clears throat> this is called as variable capital company this is the new thing which is floating around these days in the newspaper very technical part i don't know how they are explaining my kuch poochta hu aapse i want to ask you a question please keep answering you will learn this very fast in 5 minutes i assure you question number 1 guys suppose you want to purchase let's say insurance right life insurance etc health insurance vehicle insurance which company will you go to will you go to a bank or will you go to insurance provider insurance provider who regulates insurances in india a which agency irdai insurance regulatory development authority of india they regulate the insurance who regulates the banking in india rbi so if you want to convert rupee into dollar dollar into rupee you go to rbi and who regulates the dollar currency etc in india rbi and who regulates insurance irdai similarly guys if you want to let's say buy gold coins where will you go you can go to india post bank post offices you can go to sbi you can go to any bank you can buy the gold similarly guys if you want to buy let's say a social sector uh, initiative let's say retirement plan you are making a retirement plan provident fund etc right so for example you want to make sure that when you retire you get some funds where will you go uh, epfo maybe or under the new scheme which has just been launched so you can plan your retirement usi tarah suppose <clears throat> now listen to it very carefully you want to buy mutual fund where will you go mutual fund companies mutual fund companies similarly you want to buy shares where will you go you will go to no you will go to those mobile apps zeroda etc you will buy shares you want to buy bonds where will you go same now what is the government of india doing listen to it very carefully ye dekhiye there is this mutual fund company company selling shares company selling hedge fund company selling gold government of india says 1 2 3 4 you four are existing in india but different different regulators are regulating you so guys imagine that you want to buy all of this so you need to go to these four five agencies mutual fund company share selling company hedge fund company gold instrument company government is saying i am finding a jugad what is the jugad the jugad is government is saying that i am creating a super company like this which will be allowed to sell all of this i don't understand what government is trying to do government is saying why to take so many licenses let's create a super company iske andar we will start to sell everything but this concept is not true in india it cannot happen why because if this company is selling let's say dollars rupee versus dollar rbi will regulate this if they are selling you know mutual fund sebi will regulate them how is it possible that four five regulators of india will regulate the same company it will become too difficult because rbi will say i am banning you sebi will say according to me you are the best which means there can be a tussle between agencies so how can you allow one company to sell everything this company is selling gold this company is selling dollars this company is also selling you shares mutual fund hedge funds life insurance everything is sold by one company which country started this process in the world singapore Singapore first of all talked about this kind of super company in the year 2016 then all the other countries there are many countries of the world who followed and Singapore actually established this in 2018 and from 2020 it is fully functional so for example Singapore if you go to Ireland if you go to other countries like UAE Luxembourg all these countries are already having this kind of structure what is the name of this company it's a super umbrella company called as variable capital company what happens dikhata hu aapko so all this everything this whole thing that you are seeing it is clubbed and it is put here and government says you company do whatever you want so this company says wait government of india there is a problem what is the problem as a it looks very nice but look at the problem the problem will be guys focus on this you came here you gave your money to this bahut dhyan suna you gave your money to this company and you told the company company i am putting my money in mutual fund i will come after 5 years to take my money back company says cool so what is this company doing whatever money you are giving to them so for example let's say that through mutual fund business they have got this money from this business they have got another money from here another money from here another money collection of funds what is this company doing with the fund they invest this fund across the world and they make profit now suppose you come to them and tell them where is my mutual fund money and they always tell you that mutual fund is subject to market risk so they tell you <clears throat> right remember amitabh bachchan so this company with a smile will tell you sorry sir ma'am the part which you gave no through mutual fund there we suffered a loss so we can't return your money you will say no my friend you have so much of cash through your other businesses i need my money back 
So you will go to RBI and say, RBI, they have cheated me. RBI will say, sorry, I don't regulate them. Then you go to SEBI and SEBI will say, sorry, I'm not the only regulator. There are other regulators. Go and talk to them. So you go to anybody. Everybody tells you, go and talk to somebody else. And then you tell this company, I need my money back. Company says, why should I give you my money? So government of India has said that first of all, this type of company currently cannot be opened in a normal place in India. They cannot substitute bank or mutual fund companies. So what has government of India done? Government of India has said that this is a very typical kind of structure. So what are we doing? In India, there is a place called as gift city. What is the technical name of gift city? The technical name is International Financial Service Center. So what is there? So for example, let's say this is Gujarat. In Gujarat, there is something called International Financial Service Center. So in this International Financial Service Center, government has done something very peculiar, very interesting. Look carefully, bacho. something very interesting. RBI, SEBI, the insurance companies, and the Provident Fund. All these four regulators. This regulates the banking. This regulates the capital market. This regulates insurance. And this regulates the Provident Funds and uh, all those things, social security that you do. So... <clears throat> These four regulators, their power has been taken away and it has been given to somebody else. So inside Gift City, you will never find these four regulators. Because government has taken their power, their power, their power, their power, combined it and given it to super regulator called as IFSC authority. And how did we establish this super regulator in India under an act called as IFSC Authority Act 2020? What is IFSC? International Financial Service Center Authority. This is the super regulator having all these powers. So now if you open a company here in gift city, only in gift city, and you tell this company that you, Mr. Company, you can sell mutual fund, you can sell shares, bonds, gold, currency, whatever you want to do. If we find that you are doing something wrong, super regulator will not leave you because super regulator has all the powers. Immediately, this company says, government one problem. So this company told the government, government, imagine that I have this. So this company told the government, government, I have a problem. Objection. Objection is, this company says, government, my separate department is dealing in mutual fund. It has nothing to do with shares or hedge funds or gold. There is no connection. So this company says, I have one, two, three, four departments. This mutual fund department is not connected to others. So if there is a loss in mutual fund, why should the other department compensate for this loss? Because if you force me, then what I will do is I will never come to your country. I will go to Singapore, but I will not come to your country. So government of India is compelled now. Government is saying, okay, if you come to my country and if there is any problem here, then I am not going to force you to compensate this department from this department. This is called as ring fencing. That's the meaning of ring fence. Ring fence means that whatever is happening here, assets and liabilities, they are not going to be impacted by the other departments. Ring fence, seclusion. You are secluded from others. That's number one. Number two, you have full flexibility. If this company tomorrow tells the government of India, government, I only want to sell mutual fund, only one. Sell it, no problem. If you want to sell everything, you sell everything. Full flexibility is there. Third, this type of company can currently, it can change in future. Currently, it can only come in gift city, one place. Registration is super easy. Within one, two hours, registration done. Next problem, in India, if you invest your money in any private company in India, any company in India, and the moment you buy share, if you buy share through Zeroda, etc., government of India makes it compulsory for the company to publish your name in the uh, this uh, company documents. Every year, there is a general body meeting. So guys, suppose you buy the share of Tata's. It is compulsory for the Tata's that they will print your name and they will show it to everyone, public, that, hey, see, this person has bought my shares. But there is a secrecy clause here. Government said it is gift city and this company is doing so many things. So this company will not be forced to publish the name of all these people who invest in this company. They will not be forced if you require. If government tells them that, bhai, I need the name of the people who invested you in you, then only they will give the name. But automatically, it is not bound on them that every year they have to print the name of every person who is involved in their company. But in other companies of India, outside gift city, these are rules. So this kind of liberty is also given. You might have heard about dividends. What is dividend? Whenever a company makes profit, they take a small part of the profit and they give it to shareholders. So under Companies Act, it is mentioned that if Tata's are making profit, they have to share the dividend with those people who are holding the share of Tata's. 
what is the rule for these companies the government tells them you mr company even if you are making the profit or not making the profit if you want to give dividends you don't need to wait for profit somebody has bought the share of your company this is also a company so guys suppose you go to gift city gujarat and you buy 1% share of this company called vcc aapne inhi ka share khareed liya you bought the share now if this company makes profit they will give you dividend but government says no no you don't need to make profit whatever money you have from there also you can give dividend without making profit to attract people wow and why is the government doing this this is precisely what singapore has done this is what uae has done this is what luxembourg has done at least half a dozen countries in the world are doing this government says why should i be left behind because if you don't open this kind of company though what will happen from india if you get a very attractive offer from singapore to buy shares or to buy mutual fund sitting in india from your mobile phone you will invest in singapore entire indian money from capital market will go to other countries so government says no no we have to capture it because if we don't give it others are already giving it so government is saying we will also try but somebody told government government are you observing what you are doing it can turn out to be a huge scam because if you merge five things under one if there is problem in one department other four will also suffer and tomorrow this company from gujarat might run out of country and might say sorry i have nothing in my pocket i am leaving so government of india said ha this could be a problem so what did government do government has said that we will try to bring this type of company in india in budget announced but the details whether we will follow singapore model or we will create a conservative model not announced so government of india has said this could be very dangerous so we are not announcing that's it so please write what is this variable com- uh, capital company likh lo in two three lines please write that under vcc under vcc complete flexibility is provided complete flexibility is provided to fund managers to create either a single entity either a single entity means one company dealing in dealing in one method of investment dealing in one method of investment or or a single company having multiple sub parts or a single company having multiple sub parts right so either you can open a company like this with only mutual fund or so many things under one company now you please put a full stop and write some important features are some important features are so what are the important features i told you some some important features are number 1 flexibility flexibility because you have options number 2 ring fencing look at this word guys ring fencing what does it mean please write ring fencing and please write asset and liability asset and liability means properties huh? and loans asset and liability of every sub part of every sub part is kept separate is kept separate that is one sub part does not compensate the other one sub part does not compensate the other in case of a problem in case of a problem theek hai ring fencing next please write that they are easy to register and privacy is maintained privacy is maintained i told you they don't make the name of investors public privacy is maintained full stop easy to register and privacy is maintained who regulates them currently what has the government planned who will regulate them one super regulator what will be the name ifsc international financial services center authority that's the name of the regulator here and upsc might ask you that this regulator comprises of how many functions 
So this super regulator has all the four powers which is there with them. Because the moment you go to gift city, these four, you will not find them. Because government says, bhai, you are for India, except gift city. So that's your part. What is economies of scale? Economies of scale? Look at this, guys. Aap mujhe batana, if you can identify economies of scale, people will give money to mutual fund. So these people will give money to mutual fund. Yahan se money will come rupee. From shares, money will come here, here. A lot of money will come. So is this company going to enjoy economies of scale, huge amount of cash that it can use anywhere? So that is also one of the functions, economies of scale. Economies of scale means that they are going to operate at wide platform. So please write, they also have economies of scale. They also have economies of scale. Because of accumulated funds. 